The official campaign remains undeclared, but the opposition has revealed its election advertisements. It's the latest evidence that all players are poised to come out fighting as soon as the Premier names the day Queenslanders will go to the polls. Already there's conflict about how election promises will be paid for and whether the campaign will get personal. The real Campbell Newman wasn't at today's launch of the LNP's ad blitz. Well, Campbell's out uh, working with our campaign team at the moment, uh, getting prepared for the election campaign. But it's a cheerful Campbell Newman in the video who promises no negative advertising. Labor's smear tactics won't help families fight the cost of living, but we will. By freezing car registration, controlling utility prices and restoring discounted stamp duty on the sale of owner-occupied homes. Well, look, the LNP will be uh, certainly highlighting uh, what has been uh, a massive failure of public administration in Queensland. The state government's asset sales and the ending of the fuel subsidy will also be big issues. The truth is that none of this can be believed from Campbell Newman until he puts the detail before the people of Queensland and that's the reason he's not here today. Until he can tell you how to pay for them then you can be pretty uh, uncertain about them ever seeing the light of day. The LNP says they'll announce plans for funding their policies when the campaign gets going and they've called on the Premier to declare it. Come clean, be honest and say when the election date will be. Like many other working mothers, the Premier says she's concentrating on getting the kids back to school first. I think we've got more than enough to be getting on with this week. The campaign may be undeclared, but it's on in Ashgrove. Keep Kate for Ashgrove! With Kate Jones channelling support for the underdog through a Locals for Locals office in The Gap. This will be the toughest fight that we have ever seen. And the most anticipated. Karen Berkman, ABC News.